Calvary greetings, child of God. You are welcome to the 2023 edition of Prayers to Storm the Gates of 2023. We are going to be putting things in perspective. That is by doing the proper things in the proper order. I know that because you are watching this video, you urgently desire a special touch from the Lord. I believe you are tired of the enemy oppressing you, robbing you of God's blessings, and fighting to make a shipwreck of your faith at every turn. I also believe that you are ready to take back what belongs to you. I believe you are ready to take back what has been stolen from you, whether in the area of your health, your finances, your relationships, your academics, or whatever the devil has stolen from you. All these things are your birthright in Christ. You have every right to hunger and thirst for them. 2 Corinthians chapter 2 verse 4 The Bible says, For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. Praise the Lord. Child of God, once you have destroyed the enemy's power, you can take back what belongs to you. You can take back your blessings. You can get your testimonies. You can get your health, your marriage, your relationships, your land, or spiritual territory in the mighty name of Jesus. We are going into prayer warfare until the enemy's power to resist is broken. Our goal is to first destroy the enemy's power, then take back what belongs to us in the mighty name of Jesus. With the Holy Spirit guiding us, we will destroy the enemy's ability to wage war against us. We will destroy their evil weapons and ammunition. We will block their supply routes. We will also stop their war production in the mighty name of Jesus. We are going to be engaging in powerful prayers to arrest and destroy all the demons and agents of darkness in the mighty name of Jesus. Before we go any further, I want you to close your eyes and take these three prayer blessed with holy anger in your voice in the mighty name of Jesus. Fire of deliverance and total freedom fall upon my life now in the mighty name of Jesus. Fire of deliverance and total freedom fall upon my life now in the mighty name of Jesus. Fire of deliverance and total freedom fall upon my life now in the mighty name of Jesus. Fire of deliverance and total freedom fall upon my life now in the mighty name of Jesus. Fire of deliverance and total freedom fall upon my life now in the mighty name of Jesus. Fire of deliverance and total freedom fall upon my life now in the mighty name of Jesus. Fire of deliverance and total freedom Freedom, fall upon my life now in the mighty name of Jesus. Fire of deliverance and total freedom, fall upon my life now in the mighty name of Jesus. Fire of deliverance and total freedom, fall upon my life now in the mighty name of Jesus. Fire of deliverance and total freedom, fall upon my life now in the mighty name of Jesus. Fire of deliverance and total freedom, fall upon my life now in the mighty name of Jesus. Fire of of deliverance and total freedom fall upon my life now in the mighty name of Jesus. Fire of deliverance and total freedom fall upon my life now in the mighty name of Jesus. Fire of deliverance and total freedom fall upon my life now in the mighty name of Jesus. Fire of deliverance and total freedom fall upon my life now in the mighty name of Jesus. Fire of deliverance and total freedom fall upon my life now in the mighty name of Jesus. Fire of of deliverance and total freedom fall upon my life now in the mighty name of Jesus. Fire of deliverance and total freedom fall upon my life now in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Shout a big amen in the comment section down below. Praise the Lord. We are moving on to prayer bullet number two. Decree and declare this prayer bullet loud and clear after me. Oh Lord, my Father, use uncommon techniques to disgrace my enemies from today. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh Lord, my Father, use uncommon techniques to disgrace my enemies as from today. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh Lord, my Father, use uncommon techniques to disgrace my enemies from today. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh Lord, my Father, use uncommon techniques to disgrace my enemies as from today. 
in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh Lord, my Father, use uncommon techniques to disgrace my enemies from today. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh Lord, my Father, use uncommon techniques to disgrace my enemies as from today. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh Lord, my Father, use uncommon techniques to disgrace my enemies from today. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh Lord, my Father, use uncommon techniques to disgrace my enemies as from today. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh Lord, my Father, use uncommon techniques to disgrace my enemies from today. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh Lord, my Father, use uncommon techniques to disgrace my enemies is as from today in the mighty name of Jesus oh lord my father use uncommon techniques to disgrace my enemies from today in the mighty name of Jesus oh lord my father use uncommon techniques to disgrace my enemies as from today in the mighty name of Jesus oh lord my father use uncommon techniques to disgrace my enemies from today in the mighty name of Jesus oh lord my father use uncommon techniques to disgrace my enemies as from today in the mighty name of jesus oh lord my father use uncommon techniques to disgrace my enemies as from today in the mighty name of jesus in jesus mighty name we have prayed amen shout a big amen in the comment section down below praise the lord we are moving on to prayer bullet number three decree and declare this prayer bullet loud and clear after me oh god of elijah and elisha make me a vessel of your power in the mighty name of jesus oh god of elijah and elisha make me a vessel of your power in the mighty name of jesus oh god of elijah and elisha make me a vessel of your power in the mighty name of Jesus. O oh God of Elijah and Elisha, make me a vessel of your power. In the mighty name of Jesus. O oh God of Elijah and Elisha, make me a vessel of your power. In the mighty name of Jesus. O oh God of Elijah and Elisha, make me a vessel of your power. In the mighty name of Jesus. O oh God of Elijah and Elisha, make me a vessel of your power. In the mighty name of Jesus. O oh God of Elijah and Elisha, make me a vessel of your power. In the mighty name of Jesus. O oh God of Elijah and Elisha, make me a vessel of your power. In the mighty name of Jesus. O oh God of Elijah and Elisha, make me a vessel of your power. In the mighty name of Jesus. O oh God of Elijah and Elisha, make me a vessel of your power. In the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus, O oh God of Elijah and Elisha, make me a vessel of your power. In the mighty name of Jesus, O oh God of Elijah and Elisha, make me a vessel of your power. In the mighty name of Jesus, O oh God of Elijah and Elisha, make me a vessel of your power. In the mighty name of Jesus, O oh God of Elijah and Elisha, make me a vessel of your power. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Shout a big amen in the comment section down below. Child of God, I want you to take note of this. As we engage in these furious prayers, we do not view human beings as our enemies. We do not encourage physical or even verbal attacks on any person. We should use spiritual weapons to deal with our invisible spiritual enemies. Yes, we do have enemies. Ephesians chapter 6 verse 12 says, For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Praise the Lord. So I want you to always remember this. Never view human beings as your enemies. In the mighty name of Jesus. I also want you to know that these prayers are targeted against the invisible powers behind your problems. In the mighty name of Jesus. 
I also want you to know that deliverance must always be preceded by repentance. Child of God, you need to repent before you can pray and get your freedom. In the mighty name of Jesus. According to the dictionary, it is the action or process of turning from sin and dedicating oneself to the amendment of one's life. This is a prerequisite for divine intervention in any area of your life. When there is no repentance, there is no deliverance, and there is no restoration. So, child of God, you definitely need to humble yourself before the Lord and ask God to forgive you of all your sins in the mighty name of Jesus. Second Chronicles chapter 7, verse 14, the Bible says, If my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and I'll forgive their sins and I'll heal their land. Praise the Lord. Child of God, when people repent and pray to the Lord, God delivers them. So you definitely need to repent before we can engage in this warfare prayers in the mighty name of Jesus. Before we proceed any further, I want you to open your mouth and fire this prayer bullet after me. Oh Lord my Father, open my spiritual understanding today in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh Lord my Father, open my spiritual understanding today in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh Lord my Father, open my spiritual understanding today in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh Lord my Father, open my spiritual understanding today in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh Lord my Father, open my spiritual understanding today in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh Lord my Father, Open my spiritual understanding today in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh Lord my Father, open my spiritual understanding today in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh Lord my Father, open my spiritual understanding today in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh Lord my Father, open my spiritual understanding today in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh Lord my Father, Open my spiritual understanding today in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh Lord my Father, open my spiritual understanding today in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh Lord my Father, open my spiritual understanding. Oh Lord my Father, open my spiritual understanding today in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh Lord my Father, open my spiritual understanding today in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh Lord my Father, open my spiritual understanding understanding today in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh Lord my Father, open my spiritual understanding. Oh Lord my Father, open my spiritual understanding today in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh Lord my Father, open my spiritual understanding today in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh Lord my Father, open my spiritual understanding today in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh Lord my Father, open my spiritual understanding. Oh Lord my Father, Father, open my spiritual understanding today in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Shout a big amen in the comment section down below. Matthew chapter 25 verse 1 to 10. The Bible says, Then shall the kingdom of heaven be likened unto ten virgins, which took their lamps and went forth to meet the bridegroom. And five of them were wise, and five were foolish. They that were foolish took their lamps and took no oil with them, but the wise took oil in their vessels with their lamps. While the bridegroom tarried, they all slumbered and slept, and at midnight there was a cry made, Behold, the bridegroom cometh, go you out to meet him. Then all those virgins arose and trimmed their lamps, and the foolish said unto the wise, Give us of your oil, for our lamps are gone out. But the wise answered, saying, Not so lest they be not enough for us and you, but go you rather to them that sell, and buy for yourselves. And while they went to buy, the bridegroom came, and they that were ready went in with him to the marriage, and the door was shut. Praise the Lord. Child of God, I want you to take note of this. At the midnight, there was a cry made, and the door was shut. Praise the Lord.
midnight is the time when doors are spiritually shut against people in the realm of the spirit it is also a time when satanic cries are made against people by the evil powers operating along the bloodlines of their families. Psalms 24 verse 7 to 10, the Bible says, Lift up your head, all you guests, and be you lifted up, you everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is the King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, all you guests, even lift them up, you everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is the King of glory? The Lord of hosts is the King of glory. In this Bible verse, we see the word doors, but this time, and the appearance of an almighty, a sovereign power. Instead of being shut, the door and the gate is being commanded to lift up, to open immediately in the mighty name of Jesus. Taking this into consideration, we arrive at a conclusion that doors can be opened and shut in the spiritual realm. The doors might be invisible to the carnal eye. They are spiritual realities all the same. In many places in the Bible, we see references to doors and gates. For instance, we find them at the entry point to cities, according to 1 Kings chapter 17. We also find gates and doors at temples, prisons, and palaces, according to Acts chapter 3, Acts chapter 12, and Esther 5, respectively. At the gates of the city, important decisions, judgments, and verdicts were handed down. Deals were cut and transactions sealed at the gate. Honor was bestowed at the gate. Controversies were settled there. Blessings were also pronounced at the gate and cases were issued as punishment to offenses at the gate. We can see in the Bible that the gate played such a pivotal role in the life of every community, especially in times of war. The enemy's first order of business was to seize control of the gate. Child of God, you may liken the new year to a well-fortified city with a strong gate. The gate is the entry point into the city. The door or gate of the new year is currently shut. It is supposed to swing open in the spruit at midnight on January 1st. However, for most of the people, the gate of the new year never truly opens to them spiritually. It remains tightly shut against them. It remains tightly shut against them year after year, often without their knowledge. This gate is the theater of the water spiritual battle you can think of. Whoever takes control of the gate of the new year in the crucial first few seconds of the new year determines what happens throughout the entire year. No wonder our Lord Jesus Christ once said, For the children of this world are in their generation wiser than the children of light. Luke chapter 16 verse 8. At the critical midnight hour between December 31st and January 1st, the children of this world, children of darkness, that the Lord Jesus Christ is referring to here, will be busy taking off their evil hovercraft and making evil prophetic pronouncements to renew ancient generational bondage in the lives of their victims or to capture the entire year spiritually, thereby shutting the gates of the next 12 months against unsuspecting people. At this exact same time, modern day believers will be dancing and parting the right way. Unknown to them, at this critical hour of midnight, when the new year is being delivered, whatever decrees are issued, good or bad, have the capacity to alter the destiny of an individual, a family, a church or a nation. At the most critical first few seconds of the new year, the enemy gets busy shutting the gates and cancelling good prophecies by issuing wicked and godly decrees against people using words anointed with satanic power. No wonder doors of opportunity remain tightly shut throughout the year. The heavens refuse to open and pour out the prophesied blessings. No wonder you experience that divine benefits refuse to manifest in your life throughout the year and your divine helpers are nowhere to be found. Your prayers will go unanswered, leaving so many scratching their heads. 
at this critical moment of transition when most people are in slumber or dancing the night away you need to pray you need to speak prophetic words into your new year you need to speak prophetic decrees and declarations into your new year Matthew chapter 6 verse 33 the Bible says but seek you first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you child of God there is one key that unlocks everything for these prayers to bring any answers to you you must first be born again you need to surrender your life to the Lord Jesus Christ you must be genuinely born again if you are not you may be putting yourself in danger praying this kind of warfare prayers child of god you also need to live a holy life and living a holy life is non-negotiable you could get into serious trouble if you pray these types of prayers while continuing to live in sin I want you to go down on your knees and begin to repent. And please don't go back to your vomit. You must not remain a fleshly kind of believer. Learn to crucify your flesh. Walk in the spirit. A few signs that you are a kind of Christian is that you get angry very easily. You cannot control your appetite for food or sex. And you always compare yourself to others. You tell small lies. You gossip and complain about everyone, only to mention but a few. Child of God, you need to repent. You need to ask God for forgiveness before we go into the warfare prayers. The very first step to take is to acknowledge that you have made mistakes in the past and you have sinned greatly against the Lord knowingly or unknowingly you need to then go down to him with godly sorrow and deep repentance in your heart confessing your sins and the sins of your ancestors following the godly example set in daniel 9 daniel was praying for the restoration of jerusalem in daniel chapter 9 you should follow that model and in place of jerusalem substitute your family and your divine destiny this is such a crucial step you must do it slowly all day and possibly during the night too. Confess your sins one by one. Mention them by name, especially sexual sins. Do not forget the hidden sins of the heart. Chief among them mentioned in Galatians chapter 5 verse 19 to 21. Then ask God for forgiveness and mercy for those sins one by one. Believe that the Lord has forgiven you as he promised in his word. Please know that the Holy Spirit will remind you of many unrepented sins. You need to repent of them all if you really want to receive answers in this prayer program. This is what will set the tone and lay the foundation of the rest of this 14-day prayer program. It is what will activate divine intervention in every area of your life. Child of God, maybe the Lord has been waiting a long time for you to get on your knees and do this properly and thoroughly. In the mighty name of Jesus, your time to repent has come. Before you renounce and revoke your sins, take a moment to praise and worship the Lord. After thorough repentance, please note that the repentance may last for hours. Then you will be ready to renounce your involvement in ungodly associations if applicable if you were a member of any ungodly fraternity or a cult group at any time and if you have never done this properly you might want to pray like this lord i repent of my involvement with this group you mention the name of that group that you were a member of secondly you ask for forgiveness you ask god to wash you clean with the blood of jesus christ thirdly you ask the Holy Spirit to help you to never go back to your vomit in the mighty name of Jesus and make sure you mention the group or any sin that you have committed. Mention it and ask God to wash you with the blood of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus. As you pray, pray like this. I reject all the properties of this evil group in my possession and I release the fire of God to burn them to ashes in Jesus' mighty name. You need to fire this prayer bullet. Fire the prayer bullets like a mad person, like a machine gun. 
repeatedly until you feel that you have prayed enough in the mighty name of jesus you pray like this i bind all the spirits powers entities strongholds associated with the evil group and i cast them out of my life forever by the power in the blood of jesus you repeat this prayer bullet several times until you feel in your spirit that you are free you also need to pray the following prayer in jesus name i command these powers to lose their hold over my life right now i cancel every evil claim of ownership upon my life in the mighty name of jesus i silence every evil voice speaking against my life from the camp of the wicked by the power of the blood of jesus i appropriate the blood of jesus to cleanse me from every consequences of my involvement in this group make sure you mention the name of the group or the cult that you were a member of then you continue praying you decree and declare i renounce every coffin spirit spirit of false martyrdom assault rape gang attacks in the mighty name of jesus you continue to pray you repeat this prayer bullet several times until you feel settled in your spirit that you have prayed enough then you move to the next prayer bullet you pray like this I renounce and reject witchcraft or occult signs, symbols, and jewelry in the mighty name of Jesus. Make sure you repeat this prayer. You can even pray it for 30 minutes non-stop, repeating it until you feel settled in your spirit then you move on to the next prayer bullet you pray like this i renounce all cases on my eyes stomach or womb body or organs hands or legs in the mighty name of jesus you continue to pray you continue to renounce and revoke you can even spend one hour on one prayer point before you move to the next one after praying you have to thank god thank god for answered prayers thank god for deliverance thank god for delivering you from any cult from any occultic group thank god for forgiving you all your sins for washing you with the blood of jesus begin to thank god you can even spend one hour or two hours thanking god for answering your prayers you take a moment to praise and worship the lord you thank him even through songs even through praise and worship songs you can spend one hour in praise and worship alone before you proceed to any prayer point after that you pray like this with a loud voice from today whatever i do in word or deed i do all in the mighty name of the lord jesus giving thanks to god and the father by him according to colossians chapter 3 verse 17 i join the heavenly words to shout we give thanks to you lord god almighty the one who is and who was because you have taken your great power and you have begun to reign according to revelations 11 verse 17 i give thanks always for all things to god and the father in the name of our lord jesus christ according to ephesians chapter 5 verse 20 i add my voice whenever the living beings give glory and honor and thanks to the one sitting on the throne the one who lives forever and ever according to revelations 4 verse 9 in everything i give thanks for this is the will of god in christ jesus concerning me according to first thessalonians 5 verse 18 i give thanks to the father who has qualified me to share in the inheritance of the saints in light according to colossians 1 verse 12 i give thanks to the lord for he is good for his mercy endureth forever according to psalms 107 verse 1 i give thanks to the lord and proclaim his greatness the whole world must hear what he has done according to psalms 105 verse 1 i give thanks to the god of heaven for his steadfast love endureth forever according to psalms 136 verse 26 save us O god our savior gather us and deliver us from the nations that we may give thanks to your holy name that we may glory in your praise according to first chronicles 16 verse 35 i arise to give thanks to you because of your righteous judgments according to psalms 119 verse 62 
I enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Blessed be his holy name, according to Psalms 100 verse 4. You are my God and I give thanks to you, my God. I honor you highly, according to Psalms 118 verse 28. In the day of my deliverance, I will say, give thanks to the Lord, call upon his name, make known his deeds among the people, proclaim that his name is exalted, according to Isaiah 12 verse 4. Open to me the gates of righteousness, I shall enter through them, I shall give thanks to the Lord, according to Psalms 118 verse 19. I thank you Lord for answering my prayer and giving me victory on every side according to Psalms 118 verse 21. But we your people, the sheep of your pasture, will give thanks to you forever, from generation to generation. I thank you Lord for answering my prayer and giving me victory on every side according to Psalms 118 verse 21. But we your people, the sheep of your pasture, will give thanks to you forever, from generation to generation will recount your praise O Lord according to Psalm 79 verse 13 with my mouth I'll give thanks abundantly to the Lord and in the midst of many I'll praise him according to Psalms 109 verse 30 I'll praise you O Lord although you were once angry with me your anger has turned away and you have comforted me according to Isaiah 12 verse 1 I'll give thanks to you for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Wonderful are your works, and my soul knows it very well, according to Psalms 139 verse 14. To you, O God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, I give thanks and praise, for you have given me wisdom and mighty, according to Daniel chapter 2 verse 23. Child of God, after praying like this, you need to invest more time in praise and worship, singing praises to the Lord, worshiping God, praising Him, and continue to thank Him. You can spend as many hours as you want praying, asking for forgiveness, thanking God until you feel satisfied in your spirit. In the mighty name of Jesus, we have come to the end of this video. May God answer all your prayers and may God deliver you. May God forgive all your sins in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Shout a big amen in the comment section down below.